हेलो एवियशन एस्पिरेंस वेलकम बैक टू विंगमैन टुडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट डिक्लेयर डिस्टेंसेस और इन अदर वर्ड्स टोरा टोडा आजडा लैंडिंग डिस्टेंस अवेलेबल एक्सेट्रा दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड क्रूशल फॉर द सेफ्टी ऑफ टेक ऑफ एंड लैंडिंग्स ऑफ एन एयरक्राफ्ट सो लेट्स बिगिन सो वट आर डिक्लेयर डिस्टेंसेज डिक्लेयर डिस्टेंसेज आर स्पेसिफिक मेजरमेंट्स असोसिएटेड विद रन वे एट एन एयरपोर्ट दे आर क्रूशल फॉर एंश्योरिंग सेफ टेक ऑफ एंड लैंडिंग ऑफ एन एयरक्राफ्ट these distances provide pilots with valuable information to make informed decision during various phases of a flight such as take off landing and rejected take offs so why do we need these declared distances primarily we need them for safety the primary reason for a declared distance is safety by defining specified distances on a runway pilots have a clear guidance to optimize take off and landing procedures while avoiding potential hazards and obstacles second is regulatory compliance Aviation authorities mandate the use of declared distances to ensure that all flights adhere to established safety standards and regulations. So you mainly have four kinds of declared distances. They are TORA which stands for take off run available. You have TODA which stands for take off distance available. You have ASDA which stands for accelerated stop distance available and you have LDA standing for landing distance available. So before I start, go ahead and explain these four speeds to you. There are certain there are some parts of an uh, runway that you should be familiar with. Let's begin with that. The first one is clearway. Clearway is basically that area that is clear of obstacles. This, and it's clear of obstacles in the takeoff and landing path. It it could even be water. The important thing is not what you find on the surface, but the fact that this area has no obstacles in it. Okay. because the clearway is basically used so that once you're taking off from here this area should not should give you enough space to start your initial climb over it say you have some obstacles here you will not it will be an obstruction to your initial climb so this area has to be free of obstacles the second one is a stopway stopway is that portion of a runway that is normally not of the same subgrade strength as that of the runway meaning This portion of the runway is made of a lower subgrade strength of asphalt. Even simpler words, it is not as strong as the runway. Okay? Its purpose is to help the aircraft give aircraft a little more space to stop in case of a rejected takeoff. Say you're taking off on runway 09er and you're coming here and here you face an engine failure and you go ahead and stop. This your aircraft can come to stop here on this. But it cannot always or take a take off run over this or make a landing approach on this why because the strength is not good enough to hold on the impact of the aircraft in case of a landing then you have a displaced threshold this is again a very important part of a runway why do we have a displaced threshold see beginning by what it means a displaced threshold is in the words itself it displaces the your runway threshold by a certain margin okay why is it there say you have a uh, say you are landing on runway 27 and you are making an approach on runway 27 okay and you have obstacles in the take off path say you have a tv tower here we as pilots always aim for the threshold of the runway this is where we can start looking at our actual runway and use this portion for landing if we do not have a displaced threshold it will not provide us enough obstacle clearance in our approach path this makes sure that when we are aiming for the threshold at landing it gives us enough clearance from the obstacles in the approach path that's one of the main purposes of a displaced threshold second just like a stopway a displaced threshold might sometimes not always be of the same strength as that of the runway it could be of the same strength but usually it isn't okay that being said now that you've understood the three parts your clearway your stopway and your displaced threshold we can begin with the speeds just to summarize again a clearway is that portion of the land that is clear of obstacles and it is essential so that when you're taking off it allows you to reach your initial climb phase without any obstacles it allows you to reach a screen height okay without interfering with any obstacles your stopway is there only to help your aircraft stop in case of a rejected takeoff your displaced threshold is there in case you're making an approach on say in this case on runway 27 it will provide you with enough obstacle clearance in the approach path of runway 27 okay displaced threshold and stopway might not be of the same runway subgrade strength as that of runway 
it could be done for various reasons it could be for cost cutting also because it's not majorly used right so now let's get into our distances so the first one is our torah okay now any runway in the world has two directions in our case in our example we will take runway 09 and we'll take runway 27 okay now both of them will have two different tora todas asdas and landing distances available why because in our case the end of runway 27 has a displays threshold it has a stop way available and it has a clear way available it's not necessary that both ends of the runway should have a displays threshold a stop way and a clear way available in some airports you will have it at both the ends in some airports you'll have it on one end and in some airports you might not have it on either ends of the runway okay which is why in this example i have considered one side of the runway which has all the three available to help you understand what tora tora asda is and on the other end we have nothing available okay so as we move forward i will explain you the tora and all these terms for both both the approaches for both runway 09er and runway 27 so let's begin with runway 09er what is tora tora is basically the takeoff run available so this is the total amount of runway that can be used for the takeoff run where do we run we usually run on the ground so this begins from this end of the threshold and extends all the way including the displaced threshold okay all this area could be used for the aircraft's ground roll before liftoff okay the aircraft can run over this while taking off that is your tora now the tora for runway 27 see the aircraft cannot land on the displaced threshold because the displaced threshold is not strong enough to hold the impact of landing but an aircraft say there's a taxi over here and a taxi is in on the displaced threshold it can always start its takeoff roll from the displaced threshold it can sustain the weight of the aircraft when it is standing on it but when an aircraft is landing it's coming down with a lot of momentum the displaced threshold cannot hold that momentum of the aircraft hence we cannot use it for landing but in our case, this is our takeoff run available. We can always use it for takeoff. Here I'm talking for runway 27. Here, if my aircraft lines up here, it can use this whole length of runway, including the displaced threshold, up until the end of the runway, all the way from here to here, for its takeoff run. Okay, it can use all of this for its takeoff roll. Then we have our ASDA. ASDA stands for Accelerated Stop Distance Available. This means, say that you have an aircraft taking off on runway 09er, okay? Your aircraft is taking off from here and say it, it experiences an engine failure. It experiences an engine failure somewhere here, okay? It has all this distance available to come to a stop. Here, he'll apply brakes. And it has all this distance to come to a stop. Why is it called ASDA? Because it is your accelerated stop distance available. Once you have accelerated, how much stop distance do you have available in case you need to stop the aircraft? Okay. So you can include your stopway when you're taking off from runway 09er. But say that you do not have a stopway available as in the case of runway 27. Here, we can take our takeoff roll. We can start from a displaced threshold. But only we have only this much area available say in front of this there is a cliff okay imagine that there is a cliff here okay so now we have no distance ahead this to stop the aircraft the only distance we have is up until this end of the runway right so in case of runway 27 our asda is from the beginning of our displaced threshold all the way till the end of the runway next is toda or takeoff distance available so now the takeoff distance available is the distance available to us in case of 0 9 from the starting of our takeoff route that is here up until rotation that is here all the way to the transit into our initial climb phase. Normally by the end of our clear way we should be at a screen height of 35 feet and should have achieved our climb out speed of V2. This is the distance that we will require in order to reach a screen height and a speed of V2 over the clear way. Okay, so this is our TODA. In case of runway two, uh, 27, our TODA begins with the beginning of a displaced threshold all the way down our takeoff run and ends with the end of our runway because we have no clear way or stop way available. Okay, then 
landing distance available as the name says is the landing distance available for an arriving aircraft say an aircraft is arriving on runway 09er the landing distance available will start with the beginning of the runway our threshold for runway 09er all the way till the end including our displaced threshold what's key to understand here is that see our aircraft will make an approach it will impact the runway somewhere here and it will continue its its roll right it will be de decelerating in this phase okay it can come and use the displaced threshold to come to a full stop why because the displaced threshold like i said earlier can hold the weight of a standing aircraft on it but cannot just bear the impact which is why for runway 27 if you see the landing distance available begins with the beginning of our runway threshold for runway 27 you cannot include this extra portion which is our displaced threshold when you're counting the landing distance available for runway 27 because the arriving traffic cannot start its landing on the displaced threshold because the displaced threshold is not strong enough to bear the impact of the arriving aircraft the arriving aircraft will arrive with some momentum right when it comes this subgrade strength is not enough to sustain that additional weight of the aircraft with along with the momentum which is why we'll have to make an approach here moreover you do not make an approach over the displaced threshold because this is providing you for the obstacle clearance in the takeoff path right imagine there's a tv tower here or there's a mountain here and it's providing a obstacle clearance here if i were to make an approach here then i would i would infringe the obstacle clearance which is required on this approach path right so the landing distance available for runway 27 in my case would begin with the runway threshold for runway 27 all the way till the end of runway okay so this summarizes your tora toda asda and lda if i were to explain it in a summary now then asda is nothing but tora plus stopway okay your toda is equal to your tora plus stopway plus clearway right this is in situations where stopway and clearway exist in our case this all is true for runway 09er but in runway 27 if you see our takeoff run available our accelerated stop distance available our takeoff distance available all these three are equal because we do not have a stopway or a clearway right but in a landing distance available what do we have in a landing distance available in our case for runway 09er we will have what our length of runway plus displaced threshold and for runway 27 we would have what just our length of runway no displaced threshold why because displaced threshold cannot hold the weight of an arriving aircraft so guys this summarizes your takeoff distances which are your landing distance available your takeoff distance available your accelerated stop distance available and your takeoff run available these are essential to know because all of these uh, values have to be known before every takeoff and landing because say you have an engine failure you should be aware that you have how much area do you have remaining in your effective runway which runway you are using to stop the aircraft so these are very crucial i will link this particular pdf of the document that we've used to study in this video down in the description below if you have any doubts you can let us know in the comment sections below and in the coming video we'll be talking about uh, v speeds and takeoff segments for both of which knowing these terminologies are very important so i would recommend you to um, go through the whole video again let us know in the comment section if you have any doubts regarding what we've studied today and keep this in mind because this is very essential again when you're studying about your takeoff segments your uh, v speeds etc and if you're trying to be a better pilot consider subscribing to wingman on a side note we at wingman are also planning to uh, start uploading videos on our regulation series which is going to cover the whole of regulation topics for free for all of you all 
So let us know in the comment section if that is going to be helpful and what all chapters would you like to be covered. Also, uh, we are trying to build a website and we'll let you know about that whenever it's up and running. Until then, you can subscribe for our free public training and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.